The world is full of amazing animals. They are very different, but one thing these animals have in common is that they have all found ways to survive. Animals must solve many problems to survive. They need to find food. They need to find shelter. They also need to protect themselves and their young from many dangers, including other animals. Humans have learned a lot about how to solve problems by studying animals. There is even a scientific word for this idea. Biomimicry is copying something in nature to solve human problems. Airplanes are one example. Humans can't fly because they don't have wings. People use their legs to walk. However, by studying birds and bird wings, humans were able to invent airplanes. Scientists who design and build machines like airplanes are called engineers. Engineers design solutions to problems. Designing a solution that works can take many tries. Thanks to engineers, people can fly far distances in little time. Airplanes have changed the way that people get from place to place. Humans have used biomimicry to copy many animal traits. A butterfly has a long tube called a proboscis that it uses to drink nectar from flowers. Humans invented drinking straws that work the same way. One special body part of a turtle is its shell. A turtle's shell is very hard. It protects the turtle's body. Humans copied the idea of a turtle's shell to create helmets. A helmet protects a person's head just like a turtle shell protects a turtle. Here is a duck. What part of the duck inspired a human invention? Ducks have webbed feet. This means their toes are connected by skin. These webbed feet help ducks paddle through the water. Humans designed an invention called swim fins or flippers. A swim fin has a shape like a duck's foot. People wear swim fins to move more easily through water while scuba diving or snorkeling. Here are a few more inventions inspired by animals. Can you match each animal to the invention it inspired? Take a closer look at the polar bear. It has very thick fur. This fur keeps the polar bear warm in the freezing Arctic. People do not have thick fur like a polar bear. Instead, humans took the idea and designed coats to wear in cold weather. What about the octopus? What part of this animal did humans copy? Do you see the round things on its tentacles or arms? Those rings are called suckers. Octopuses use suckers to touch and taste. Suckers are very useful for holding on to things too. This body part inspired people to design suction cups. Suction cups work just like an octopus's suckers. When they are pressed to a surface, they cling to it. Suction cups have many uses. There is one more animal. Do you see it? There, in the tree, it's a frog. The frog is difficult to see because the color and pattern of its skin match the tree bark. This is called camouflage. Being difficult to see helps to protect the frog. Humans used this idea to design camouflage fabric for clothing. Soldiers were the first to wear camouflage clothing. Today, this clothing is often worn by hunters. The camouflage keeps them from being seen by the animals they are hunting. Humans have found many ways to use biomimicry to solve problems. Think like an engineer and see what problems you can solve by copying an animal.